Hi everyone, my name is Liz and welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you all my different kind of winter coats and well jackets, I guess some of them can go as jackets anyway. So I will, since it's all about the, the coats and the jackets, I'm gonna keep on the same outfit throughout the day and uh, it's a general white shirt with some white buttons onto it and some shoulder pads if uh, if you're into to autumn fashion and I guess you are since you're watching this channel then uh, shoulder pads is and uh, like structured shoulders is very much in fashion for the autumn so and a pair went well, uh, a couple of of jeans Ingo colored jeans and on my feet I have a couple uh, have a pair of uh, of black boots like not ankle boots which is these ones have a bit of silver into it here and then uh, a little heel so that's the outfit of the day so um jewelry wise i have some earrings on here who is i don't know 10 years old buying the market in uh, in dublin and the necklace is an old necklace from uh, from back denmark also i have no idea 20 years old or so, since i got it anyway or something like that ring wise this is a Viking ring I found on the market years back and this one is also a Viking ring with that I found in I think in a shop on the on the west coast well this one here is a Pandora ring from 10 years ago the bracelet is from some market in Denmark and pretty old so yeah all very old and common stuff the coats however some is older and some is from very recent so let's get into it so the first jacket of or coat of the day is my red leather coat that i bought a few months ago i hope the light here is showing it the right color it is okay heavy and if we put it on if i put it on here you can see that it is let me see if you can see full figure there and go down to like the end of the calves uh it has no i have a little bit of lining but not an awful lot but it's big enough to have a sweater underneath or something like that if if that's what you want to do um, it has some print buttons to make it very easy to to close um wise uh, it have a good length on on the cuffs so that um, you doesn't have this dreaded piece of, of a, I'm not fan of that piece there if you can see your shirt coming down your your cuff so this is a this is good length and I actually have rather long arms so very often when I try on jackets or coats or something then they won't have the long enough arms to, to say it. It's very open in, uh, in the chest as you can see here. So if it's cold I would definitely wear a scarf or something to, to close off and, and protect my, my throat. But yes, from the back it is just all plain upside down there's no belt or anything that couple of pockets deep enough for having your phone or whatever you you want to to carry with you or well, depending of course normally i would be carrying it back but hey sometimes i leave the back in the car and just grab my phone and my wallet and run into a shop or something like that so it's quite possible to have them in the, in the pockets i think it's a very decorative coat because of the red color it's a little bit special and not as 
not as, as normal as all the other coats. I definitely don't have another red long coat. So, yeah, it's from last year at Asus. I saw they brought out a new red one. It was a little more sharp color in, in the red, but I will link it down below. I will always link the outfits that I'm wearing down below. Put out numbers and then this is outfit number number two. Technically seen if you don't take my old casual everyday one here beneath it. So this is outfit number two. So you will see a two coming up on the screen and if you then go down in the description box then you can find a number two and, and find the code. Uh, also as you say that if you're watching this on mobile you, in order to get down to the description box, you need to go to more and then more again to to get down to the description box. But it's grand. You can find it all linked down there. So, yes, that was code number one. I should maybe also mention that it's good for autumn because it's not that thick and, and lined. So you can also use it autumn, spring when it's not really that cold just yet. Code number two, if you saw, I don't remember if it's part one or part two of my casual work outfit coat. You saw this coat. That is my camel colored wool coat. It has some wooden buttons in it. There's like brown and uh, yeah, brown, black-ish. Very common color. I love it because it's so neutral as it is, but it's actually also got a good lining in it and because it's wool, it's like very hot and still, like I say, very neutral. So, putting that one on, uh, it is to knee length, it has a, a belt, so you can button it up or you can just tie it up depending on what you prefer or how cold it is. Um, it is not open in the neck, so I would very seldomly put on like a, a scarf with the, with this one. Anyway, so deep pockets, but not deep enough for, for I would put my phone or my wallet in it. I will usually actually just tuck the belt in it, to be quite fair honest to you. On the back, very neutral. Uh, you can put down the hem here if you don't want it up. And yeah, very neutral, very classical coat. Uh, I don't remember where I got it, River Island, I think, a couple of years back. But uh, very loved, very used, and probably one of my most used coats. And that'd be both for pants or for dresses or for skirts or for whatever I'm wearing, long boots. It's not, there's not really a lot of space for wearing a big sweater underneath. Um, if I close it up here, you can see that it's foam fitted and it doesn't leave a lot of, of uh, extra room for uh, for some big sweater underneath. So what I would normally do if I'm wearing a larger sweater underneath is just simply close it with the belt and then just being a little more loose fitted so that I can have the sweater underneath, so yeah. That was coat number two. Next up is my trench coat, they called. If you saw my, what was that, my Asus video, I think it was, I presented this one. It was, it's quite new. Uh, I only had it for a couple of months. I have been looking for trench coat who was like just a general classic trench coat for years um, and I didn't want to pay like a fortune for it either so um, it'll take me I think five years or whatever to find the trench coat that I actually wanted to buy and Asus had it so uh, it is beige colored with brown black is dark brown color uh, buttons and then just the general sleeve thing here on the, on the shoulders. It is down to mid calves, so definitely a longer one. It does have a belt that I have just tied here in the back because 
I don't usually just tie it with a belt, but you do you. So I'm just tying it in the back. I will normally either wear it open, just put on, or I will close it up and then wear it like that. I won't say I won't ever tie the belt, the belt but it's not my everyday, so I just tied it. Uh, it is not having any lining in it whatsoever kind so I can use it spring autumn winter but I would in winter time put a, a sweater or something like that on so that I could blaze it maybe even so uh, to keep keep warm because it is not a, a warm coat I would you could also use it in summertime if you have a cold summer day or colder summer day anyway like we had this summer for summer <laughs> You could use uh, this one as well. Closing it up, it is loose fitted, and again, it have a very big open V here. So in case it was cold, I would definitely put a scarf on to just protect my neck, my my throat, and my my neck there. So, but beside that, yeah, general ordinary trench coat with no anything special to it which was exactly what I wanted yeah um, pockets are extremely deep like all the way down to here so you can easily fit in your phone or your wallet or whatever if you're just running to the shops no problem at all uh, also even though since uh, it's not opening up when you take long steps because it's so long so if you're wearing a, a skirt or a dress underneath, that is um, a perfect combo. Next up here is my brown leather jacket. And you definitely saw this one in my ASOS haul video uh, a few weeks back there. Uh, it has like, I don't know if it should look like crocodile skin or something like that. It probably should, but uh, yeah. In case you're wondering, when I say leather coat or leather jacket or leather base or something like that, it's of course fur leather. It's not real leather or real fur for that matter. So just to to put that one out there. So it is kind of plastic, plastic-ish, noisy, very noisy. I don't know if you can hear in the background. So um, the buttons is exactly the same color and everything as a uh, as jacket, as a coat. It is the same fur plastic leather thing that is put on the buttons. Even though it does sound plastic-ish, it doesn't as fur leather is. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, it doesn't look cheap or, or anything, then I definitely wouldn't have bought it. Again, it's one of the longer coats down to, to mid-calf. It does have a belt into it and it does also have some very deep pockets again so no issue with your phone there it does also have buttons it does it is not particularly tight or form fitted as you can see here when I close it up without the belt there's plenty of of room for a sweater underneath but again very open and room for a towel so yeah um, that's definitely something that, that, that or scarf, rather than a towel, yeah, a scarf. Uh, so you can, um, can, can wear a, a, a scarf underneath. I would probably also close this one just with the belt, because that's just the easiest way to close stuff instead of figuring around with the buttons. So that's just what I do a lot of the time. So yeah. Uh, Beside that, there's not really much to say to it. Um, it does have a, a spit hem that makes it easy to, to walk. And again, because it's this long, uh, it's easy to have like a skirt or a dress or something underneath. And you will still feel warm. And because it is this fur leather, if it gets dirty, you literally just take a, a damp cloth and then dry off, take off whatever dirt that came onto it and uh, it can also take water and whatever else so you don't really have those 
those issues with uh, fur leather coat. You don't need to clean it that often. But if it needs to be actually uh, washed, I will send it to the cleaner. I'm actually not even certain that you can wash it in your own washing machine, to be quite fair honest to you. So, yeah. Um, I would definitely send it to, to the cleaners and let them bother about it. I do like when a coat also looks extremely good when it's like open and just fall, free, free falling down because uh, yeah most of the time they don't really close your coat do you? So yeah. Um, warm. Not as heavy as the red one that I just showed you. Not as heavy as that one. Actually pretty light. Um, so again if you are in a petite size I do think uh, they did have on the website I think three different sizes of this one where the red one was a one sizer so just to, to keep in mind that if you are shorter it might be longer to you I am 172 so um, that's I think 5'7 or something I'm not quite sure how the feet think how many feet that is but I think it's about five five feet seven so I'm a yeah guess normal size person if there's anything you can call normal um, but yeah uh, one who will be used both spring winter autumn and even on maybe even on a, on a colder summer day uh, this one will get a lot of use Moving on to what is not a real trench coat, but I guess they followed that uh, recipe when they made it. It's an all black uh, trench coat similarity thing. It is sprayed with something from the factory, so that it's actually also a raincoat. Which is extremely handy if you live in Ireland, where it rains just about every single day it's from Amazon fashion now back in the days Amazon fashion was a bit of a nightmare it was uh, not particularly great looking clothing it looked very cheap it looked very yeah not something you you would consider maybe buying but the past four or five years that have completely changed uh, Amazon today is actually selling a lot of great clothing and even real branded clothing like uh, really expensive branded clothing as well I bought a Ralph Lauren roll neck from there just a few weeks back so it's not like <clears throat> that Amazon fashion anymore is what it used to be so if you once upon a time shop from Amazon fashion or maybe never have it's definitely worth trying. They are in a high street price tax, but yeah. Uh, this one is one I had for Christmas present, actually from a couple of friends of mine last year. So um, I will find, try to see if I can find something similar on, on Amazon. Um, it have plain black plain black buttons here I don't know if you can see that and it is straight upside down good pockets a belt not lined but uh, and there's really no room for a sweater here so I don't really use it much in the winter time if it get like real cold then I really cold and then I use one of my other ones but this one I have been using in summer autumn spring and even on the warmer days in the winter time and it is wind and rain safe so uh, you don't get any of those ones which is why it's also uh, you don't get any wet uh, wearing it which is also why it's slippy so the belt is going to go up most of the time but uh, so let's see if I can actually make it stick like that that's better so it is only to down mid thighs which makes it an excellent choice when you are driving uh, then you don't have to it can be difficult when you're driving to fiddle around with a big coat uh, and it can get a little bit in the way but 
this one have a perfect length for, for driving. As you can see, it's pretty fitted, so you can't really have, like I said, a, a big sweater or, or something under it. Um, but yeah, it's an elegant type of uh, wind rain coat, and uh, I have definitely got a lot of use out of this one. I also like the fact that it's just plain black. There's nothing special to it, and even though it is a raincoat, as you can see, you actually can't see that it's a raincoat. It looks like a general coat. Um, so yeah, it can have a lot of all-round purposes, so to say. Next up is another trench coat similarity. Can you hear? I really love the trench coat thing. <laughs> it is this beige color but it also uh, leaning a little bit to the green side of uh, the beachy color again it is from Amazon fashion and it is just this knee length so it is excellent for for driving I tied the belt on this one just like I did on my actually trench coat um, it have brown neutral buttons, I will show you in a minute. When you close it up, it is form fitted. You can't have like a big sweater under it. But uh, it is, there's still room for a bit of a, a sweater. And again, if it's cold, you will need to wear a scarf. So, um promised you to show you the buttons here, so let me just do that before I forget it. There you go. As you can probably see here, it is... Uh, nah. Wait a minute, then I'll take it off and you can see. Let's just finish off the fitting first. So, deep pockets, plenty of space for a phone. Um, and not a wind rain is proof one and one you can just throw in the washing machine in case you need it washed don't forget if you're washing it yourself as soon as you get it out the washing machine put it up on a hanger not a wooden one a plastic one to uh, to drip off so that it can straighten itself out a bit or you will have a nightmare ironing it <laughs> just talking from experience there so Buttons. Let's get back to the button thing. As you can probably see here, the buttons are some brown, pale ones, sandy brown ones, which is a very classical button. So again, it's not something that is disturbing You look. Very classical one. And even though it's not that long, you can still use it for, uh, for skirts or dresses. Um, I mainly use it for pants though. Just yeah a little bit of a lining not much but yeah moving on to what looks like a fur coat of course fake fur uh, all white and I don't remember where I bought this one what does it say in the back uh, jacket Michael 7 um, I think it's Amazon. No, actually it was TK Maxx if I remember. Yeah, I think it was TK Maxx. All white, fur-ish jacket. Quite a few years back. I will see if I can find anything similar uh, on Amazon or wherever. Thigh length, extremely warm. You won't need a sweater under this one. There's not a lot of lining in it, but because it is a fur, flux fur one, it is very, very warm. Arm length, again, it's a good arm length for, for me, and I have long limbs, so it's a good length. It's closing up with not really buttons, but more like, uh, what do you call them, hooks kind of thing. Uh, plenty of room underneath if you want a square sweater. But I'm melting, literally. <laughs> uh, all upside down or straight up down 
nothing special or fancy or anything. Pockets, two very deep pockets, almost to the bottom of it here. Plenty of room for phones or whatever. Do you have? You want to carry? Very neutral. It does very soft. It is extremely soft as well. I just love to go walk like this with it because it's so soft. Anyway, <laughs> you will need a dry cleaner for this one. You can't wash it yourself. So it will need to be dry cleaned. Uh, I normally get my coats dry cleaned after every season. So when we get to spring and I'm not in the need of this warm one, I'm actually going to take it off because it's like really, really warm. But <laughs> when we get to spring, uh, and I don't need this one for another six months. I'm gonna send it to the dry cleaner. I'm gonna do that with basically seeing all of them because I just don't want to be bothered really. Um, and then get it dry cleaned, and then it's ready for the next season. This one needs a heavy hanger, so I'm actually usually hanging most of my coats on a wood wooden hanger because that yeah. They're so heavy, so I don't want to risk them falling down or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, and this one definitely needs like a wooden hanger. Uh, so, yeah. Very heavy coat. The next one is the last trench coat. <laughs> a white trench coat with red um, sewing thread. Red thread is called on it. Uh, what I really like about this is, of course, it's a trench coat. You know me by now. I love trench coats. <laughs> but also the fact that it was white, and I actually loved, loved the, the red threading. But it was also the lining. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this lining, this colored lining, which is particularly what you call vigilant when you put it on. Um, it does have a bit of a shoulder pad, so I'm kind of interesting when I have a shoulder pad on the shirt and a shoulder pad on on the thread coat. Yeah, I get some very structured uh, shoulders on this one, but that's high fashion. So uh, both now here in the winter time and going into spring, it is structured coats, it is structured blazers, and it's uh, very uh, with shoulder pads and what do you call it? Yeah, structured. <laughs> In, in the shoulders so yeah as you can see when you are walking in this one this lining is showing off and that's just something that made me I have to buy this one it is not that old and I think it was from Amazon uh, very long belt very open in the neckline again so wear a scarf if uh, it gets cold the lining is not thick the coat is not thick so for winter use you would definitely need a sweater or something like that under but there's plenty of room for it so, so it's not an issue arm wise it is not as long as you might wish for it's fine for me but yeah and there is this detail here of a wrap around there's actually a tie you can tie it in anyway there's a, a tie so you can tie it in and out if you depending on how much of a structured end part of the sleeve you want i have it in the outers but if you would like to have like very what you call like standing structured in the in the arms you can just put it into the inner one here and then you'll get a very posing very structured uh, arm Buttons is little silver buttons and it is click buttons so it is very easy to, to close it up if you so wish. And then you just either tie the belt or put it down the pockets. Pockets big enough for a phone but uh, depending on your wallet size I might not put it down there. Again it is closing up fine uh, so even if you're wearing a skirt or a dress you're not going to get extremely cold but it might blow a little bit up and show that gorgeous lining from time to time it is lengthwise down to start of the calf and so it's a longer coat but not really long coat and it's not heavy either 
in in any form. It is very very light. So yeah, last trench coat of the day. So this one is not really a coat. It's a jacket. It's uh actually padded and not leather. I know there came some out this year who's like really leather. Would love to have one of those, but this one doesn't. It has some. I think it's gonna be called lamb fake fur here around the the sides of it. It is. Not at all long. It is in every way short, but it's a great coat, no jacket. No, it's not coat jacket to to throw on. It is very warm. It is heavy. It does have great pockets with a zip on So a great secure pocket. Um, you can actually see here. You can see this. Uh, that's actually the the pocket flapping around there. It is great for jeans or for driving or for yeah even wearing a skirt I would wear this one with a skirt as well just quickly throw it on and then it it does have a zipper to it if I can find the other side of the zipper it was there so when you close it up if I can feel what I'm doing here it does have a very big folding part under here so that you don't get any wind or anything in and it is warm and you can do it all the way up so you really wouldn't need a scarf or anything god I'm melting <laughs> but yeah um great arm length and great all the way around jacket and definitely one who's going to keep you warm so if you are for example traveling with buses or trains or walking to work or something like that it's great to have a really warm overcoat because it can be cold on that train station, on that bus station or wherever you are. It can get really cold. So, great option for winter. Um, now, this was the last real jacket coat, at least the one with sleeves in. I have a couple of other things I'm going to show you. It's not really like coats, but I'm just going to throw them in here since it's still like out where out of out of where yeah out of where so i'm just gonna throw them in here as well and surprise this is a very colorful long coat in summertime you can use it just to as a coat but in the winter time and we are in autumn winter here i will use it with something all white for example so just to throw in some color or some patterns and uh, I don't know really with, uh, with jeans yeah I can do it with jeans as well again it's a neutral color palette I'm having beneath it so it is the coat doing all the signaling here extremely thin wash it yourself it's one of those I would wash myself 40 degrees and then just an iron very structured out uh, it does have a belt, so you can tie it up if uh, if you so wish. It does have pockets as well. Not the normal scray ones, but it does have, have pockets. And it's just gonna just if you are in winter time, I don't know about you, but I wear a lot of like long cardigans and stuff like that. Uh, if it's like not so cold that you really want to wear a cardigan but you still want something to, to cover you this is an ideal choice for it I don't think I can find it anywhere or anything similar so you just have to appreciate it here I will of course try but uh, see what I can find it is very colorful and some will say it's only for spring summer but I like to throw color into the winter autumn well. I mean why not it's dark out there so uh, let's throw some life and some light in uh, in the end it's of course your personal preferences according to me there's no wrong or right in fashion there are what you prefer and who you are and what is your personality so I'm gonna wear this one and you do you First alternative to a coat if you're not really in the coat mode just yet or you think it's a little too warm. You saw this in 
was it my last video or the one part one or part two of office where I uh, showed this cape because that's indeed what it is a cape uh, so again you can have it open or you can close it up it is not particularly uh, warm well, oh, well that's nonsense it is warm but it is not like something you can use when it's like minus degrees or something like that not without a sweater under but if you wear a sweater under you can definitely still wear it there's plenty of room underneath it does go all the way up your your throat so like that it does go all the way up and you still have your arms free which is very handy when you're driving um, if you have like a thinner coat that you want to wear in the winter time that's not really warm enough you can buy a cape and then or if you have a cape and then just throw the one on above the the coat so they kind of get layering up and that will keep you warm enough this one is down to the knees and very as capes are upside down without the big things to it except for this fur piece here on the on the sleeve and and in the throat so beside that it's really just a gray cape i do have one in black as well it's in the washing at the moment so i'm not going to show it to you but it doesn't have the fur on it have a little piece of leather and i have a little piece of leather around the, the sleeves here as well so it doesn't go that much up there it's not that much up the neck so if you have a weak neck or if you feel cold some this one would be better it's a better an option and the one i would pick you can also if you're wearing like let's say you're going to a party and wearing like a long dress and you don't want the dress to get curled and creased and yeah, get increased etc and then um, or all curl it up or something like that then um, this cape option is a great kind of outerwear because it's not restricting the dress and thereby increasing it an awful lot and it is uh, still gonna keep you warm and you still have your arms free so you can still move around just when you go in to and from the party so yeah that's and other options of using a cape. Moving on to the last object here. Just gonna correct my shirt. I have all my coats and everything hanging up on the rack I have over here. And it's like lifting up and then your shirt goes up. Anyway, <laughs> last object. It is not a coat either. It's a uh, kind of a chile, they call it. No arms or oh, sleeves, no sleeves, just open arms green buttons are this sand brownish one that those of us on the trench coat this one was from last season and from river island i remember that i was looking at it for quite a while before i actually bought it so yeah it is for those days where you just want a little bit of extra warmth on the main body and you're warm enough on, on the arms or you're wearing a big chunky sweater underneath and then you just want a little bit of extra warmth mid calf length and with plenty of room for that sweater underneath but also still open so if you're wearing like a roll neck sweater I would for some wear a white roll neck sweater underneath it then you can still see the roll neck, you can still see the sweater, you can still see everything and yet I get a quite a lot of more clout, clout, quite more warmth is going from the chile. Uh, it's very stiff in the sleeves part here so that they will be giving you a, a more structured shape and form. Deep enough pockets um, not major deep. I mean, I don't even know if I can get my phone all covered up here. Probably couldn't. Yeah, just about. But that's an old iPhone, so yeah, that can just be done. If you have anything 
bigger or more modern than, than this four year old model. It will probably peak peak up a bit, but yeah, who cares? <laughs> Great alternative if you are somehow warm enough but just want a little bit of extra layering. So, great layering piece. That was all I had to show you today. So, uh, what I will say here in the end is that is, of course, we ended there with a shilay. There are, of course, a numerous amount of shilays and coats and whatever you can get. I don't own a puffer jacket, but I do own puffer shilays. I didn't show them to you because, yeah, then we could go on forever. But. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have a lot of other shilays or capes and whatever have not. But I just chose to stop showing you more here. But there are of course a numerous other amount. Uh, second thing I will say, which is more like just a fun fact. This year the teddy coat is actually turning 10 years. It have just been celebrated in uh, Paris Fashion Week. And I think it was was it Mew 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 who had them or I will put the name uh, on the screen here if it wasn't but uh, Angelona doesn't matter I put the name <laughs> on the screen on, on who was the adventure of the teddy goat 10 years ago and the fact says that it's 10 years this year so it was celebrated, a whole bunch of celebrity and mega influencers was invited and came in great teddy coats for the fashion show. So just a fun fact, if you're on one of them, remember back in the time uh, when you actually bought it. And let me know in the comments down below, do you have a teddy coat? Besides that, I will say thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and click the bell notification icon share it with anybody you know who would find interest in this if you have any ideas for what you would like to see in the future please share it with me down in the comments below and i will see what i can do to uh, make your wish come true on that note thank you very much for watching and bye bye see you next time